the Bosch, which is one of the preeminent dishwasher manufacturers, had just come out with an even better dishwasher. That's awesome. You know, it's remarkable. Everything from the 100 series dishwasher to the uh, 300 series, we're bringing uh, to, to market right now a 300 series dishwasher that actually has two racks and brings in Rackmatic. You know Rackmatic, right? Are you familiar with that term? I do, but let's oh. let's go ahead and, and do a quick demo on it. So Rackmatic found on typically every dishwasher that has a third rack, but this 300 series that we're bringing to market will actually have just two racks, your middle and your bottom here. But this Rackmatic is nice. It allows me to take all of them down, right? There you go. Or I could lift it up just a little bit. I can lift it up even more. There's nine different positions that you can do, but if I have, let's say, some very tall glassware here and some very tall dishware here, it would be really nice and convenient to close that, even at an angle, allowing me to have that stemware open here and those extra large dishes on the bottom there, and you can do that with Rackmatic. Yeah, this would be ideal like for a cookie sheet on the left here or even a casserole dish in the back and you've got that adjustability to your point if you've got taller glasses here or shorter cups that's ideal and it's still will really go in nice. and out very easily yes and the racks seem heavier so we've done a couple of things this year with the racks uh, and one of those you can probably see right here as you pull out this rack all the way to the front there's a little stopper now that we did not have previously. Ah. And one of the uh, customer feedbacks that we had is, you know, I, I love my Bosch dishwasher. That lower rack is great, but I would really love to see it not just kind of fall out. Yep. So one of the things that we did, we engineered these little stoppers, makes it very convenient. Uh, and again, it keeps it right in its place. But if I'm gonna really, really talk about our 800 series dishwasher, as you see right here, you might be looking at this spray arm and you've probably seen this in the stores it's called the power control spray arm and you might ask yourself well okay aj what in the world is the difference between this and your traditional spray arm well let me just show you i'll pull it right out and this spray arm right here when it comes to its cleanability and bosch you already know the expectation it's going to clean caked on baked on dried on put it in a bosch no soaking required we take that messaging and that cleaning to the next level. How do we do that? Well, we have our precision wash system, and that, of course, is how every dish gets hit with the water, the right pressure, the right temperature. But for the first time ever, we're able to take those caked on, baked on, dried ons, along with the maybe more delicate things, and wash them all at the same time. How is that possible? Well, our precision wash spray system is now, now mechanically run. So if I flip this over here, you can see the teeth, uh, and there's, of course, gears, and this would rotate allowing me to stop and then hydro, meaning the water's moving this to clean that area. And then, that would be done through the app? That could be done through actually the on the control panel itself because if you look on the control panel, you will see front, back, or custom. In the universe of front, that just means, hey, tell my dishwasher to spend more time in the front okay. or likely in the back. Now, in Home Connect, this is what's really cool. You can take that and put, think of it in four different quadrants. And now I can tell this, hey, my heavies are over here, lightly soiled over here, normal in this side here, and very heavy over here. So you can really micromanage it in Home Connect. Absolutely. This also is going to have Bosch's Zio light technology, correct? Yeah, so crystal it's crystal dry. Crystal dry, the best drying system in the industry. It's amazing. And all it is is Zio lights, like you just said. And Zio lights, well, there's many different types of Zio lights, but these Zio lights specifically take humidity or humid air and then once they're hit with that water instantly turn into dry desert air that dry desert air is filtering in the entire cavity at 176 degrees of arizona dry desert heat so think of it this way i'm after my fully closed uh think of it this way in the sense of how we dry our dishes we use water right mm -hmm. So once our dishwasher has completed that drying phase, meaning the hot water has hit those dishes, those dishes have now absorbed all that heat, the water turns off, the dishes are now hotter than the water, the water then goes to the side walls or the colder surfaces and then drains out. But what's left over is this humid air, or think of it like Miami, if you've ever been to Miami in the summertime, right? Very hot, but humid. Yep. And that's what's left over in the tub. So over time, what you could have is the dishes get cooler, and if you don't open the door, those dishes could then get like a little, uh, I would say, like a mist uh, up there. 
of sorts. But yeah, what and, we do, go and, ahead. And not to interrupt, but that's that's been a customer feedback item for a lot of dishwashers that don't have the exposed heating elements. My dishes don't come out dry. That's right. Right? And that's right. So that's eliminating that issue. We take that pure dry system to the next level with the actual uh, zeolite or the crystal dry. Yep. You see this little vent right here. Yep. All of that moisture is brought into that vent and then just underneath that little vent that you see at the back kind of looks like a, a little slice of a cookie, if you will. Oh, yeah. That is actually underneath there's the chamber of zeolites. And again, that's where all that moisture is going in. And instantaneously, it turns into this dry desert air. Think of a sauna, right? A dry sauna. You got yep. those rocks there. You pour a little water on those rocks. And yet somehow it's getting hotter and drier in this room. That's what we're doing in this dishwasher. We're turning Miami, Florida summertime heat into Arizona desert air at 176 degrees. So any of the folks out there that are looking at reviews of Bosch dishwashers, especially ones that were made five, six years ago, and people are saying, well, it's a great dishwasher. It's quiet. It cleans well, but it doesn't dry. Guess what? Get a Bosch with the ZLA technology. It's going to dry amazingly well. So that's awesome. Okay. Uh, I love it.